minutes and now we actually can show you the suspect, the person in question. This is Robert E. Cremo III, believed to be driving that 2010 Silva Hyundai Fit with the license plate, Honda Fit rather that you see with the license plate. Uh, this is the first picture of him that we are able to bring to you. Uh, this is the person of interest, Chris, that they are looking for at this very moment. That's right, and there is a distinguishing uh, characteristic there on his throat. There appears to be uh, a tattoo of some sort of green leaf there, and also obviously another uh, tattoo above his right eyebrow and then below his left eye. So as the message is sent to all of Chicagoland and everyone who's in the Chicago media market ear and airwaves, uh, this is the individual that they are looking for. Now, obviously, when we have situations like this, there's always this debate of naming, identifying the suspect. People don't want to glorify, give these individuals any kind of amplification right. of, of notoriety. But at this moment in time, and how often we use that name and show that photo in the future is a different conversation. But for right now, he is being sought. We need people to know that name and know that picture because it's critical that if you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. And that tattoo, it looked like it said awake above his eyes. So definitely, as you were saying, very distinguishing characteristics with these tattoos at various places on his face and on his neck. So important that we get this photo out there so the tips can come in. It's so often we hear from law enforcement that it takes just mm -hmm. one person identifying someone that they believe has been seen in the area. And we know at this point uh, that while they have this perimeter cordoned off, they're not releasing too many details about where they think he could be, whether he's inside that perimeter, whether he could be farther away. We're talking about a northern suburb that's only 25 miles away from Chicago. Right. So how quickly could a person of interest uh, if they're looking for this man right here, how quickly could he get away from that area while all the chaos is still going on and they're in Highland Park at the parade. And of note, that 12 block radius you're talking about, they are still telling people to shelter in place. They have not given the all clear on that because I think they're just trying to be doubly cautious. They don't know for sure uh, his whereabouts. They believe he's in that vehicle. Uh, they believe that he is probably on the road at this moment in time, but for whatever reason, they have not gone to the place of saying, and everybody in that area can now come outside. That's not where they're at right now. Right. And we were mentioning earlier that the question directly to law enforcement at that last, pr last press conference was, was he from Highland Park? And while he didn't go as far as to say that, he did say he's from this area. So you can imagine that then this is probably an area that he's quite familiar with. There may be certain places that police, and I know we can talk to our experts about this, and they've mentioned this before, that he frequents. Mm -hmm. He knows people. People know him. And But he's probably also, if he's from this area, very very familiar with areas outside of Highland Park. So we'll have to wait to see what law enforcement says in their next update, if there's any uh, additional information about where he could be.